Hi, I'm Brian Steffi, Senior Lab Manager here at Illumina's Customer Solutions Labs. We get a lot of questions about what would it take to get to your next generation sequencing data on the next seek. Well, I'm here to show you just how easy it can be. The first step in planning your next generation sequencing experiment on a next seek is to choose the library preparation kit that's appropriate for your application. You can start this by clicking on support and then choosing the sample prep and array kit selector. Once you're in the library prep and array kit selector, you choose whether it's for research use only or molecular diagnostics. Since we're going to be giving you a demonstration on RNA-seq, we're going to choose research use only, and we're going to be sequencing RNA. In this case, I'm going to say that our RNA is high quality, and you can choose from mRNA, whole transcriptome, miRNA, and so on. In this case, we'll look at mRNA and it gives you the choice of three different available kits. If you're not sure which kit is right for you, you choose the comparison table, and it'll give you information such as the intended use, input amount, the hands-on time, and so on. In this case, I'll say that the TrueSeq stranded mRNA kit is right for me. Choose back, and select the TrueSeq stranded mRNA kit. It will give you information based off of low throughput or high throughput, Low throughput is if you're using 24 samples or below, and high throughput would be above 24 samples. And then it gives you the recommended Illumina instrument, the number of samples per run, and the max re recommended read length for each of these runs. And also a little bit of extra information for analysis. You can choose order now to go to the enterprise site for ordering, or support for things like downloads and the protocol. Or you can click on training if you'd like to get to know the library prep kit a little bit closer. Once you've chosen the appropriate library preparation kit for your experiment, you're going to go to BaseSpace. If you already have a BaseSpace account, click on Login. If you don't, choose Sign Up and get a MyIllumina account. To log in, type in your credentials and then click Login. Once you log in to BaseSpace, it'll bring you to your dashboard. In order to start the sequencing process and tell the instrument which libraries you'd like to sequence, and what cycling conditions, click on the prep tab. When you click on prep tab, you get four options, biological samples, libraries, pools, and planned runs. We're going to start with biological samples. To create a sample, click on create. Type in the sample ID and the sample name Choose the species you'd like to analyze. To start the process of telling the NextSeq 500 what to do, you would click on the Prep tab. Within the Prep tab, you have four choices. You have biological samples, libraries, pools, and planned runs. Biological samples is where you would load your biological samples, or DNA, um, into the database. And you can load them one at a time, or at, with an Excel file saved as a CSV, it can be loaded in as a group. Libraries is where you would tell the system which type of library prep you did on those biological samples. Uh, that includes Illumina library preparation processes or custom library preparation. Pools is which libraries have you pulled together for your run. And plan runs is the information such as which reagent cartridge did you use, how many cycles of sequencing would you like to do, and is there an index uh, sequence. You would typically use prep tab before or during the library preparation process so that when you walk up to the instrument, you don't have to think about these things. When you order your kit for the next seek run, you're going to get three components. The first component is this flow cell, which is going to be shipped and stored at four degrees. You're going to get your buffer cartridge, which is going to be shipped at room temperature and stored at room temperature. And you're also going to get a reagent cartridge which is going to be shipped on dry ice and stored at minus 20 degrees. When you get to the instrument, the sequencing process starts by pushing the big sequence button. The instrument will now ask you to enter your base space username and password. Be sure to use the username and password that you used to set up your run in prep tab. You can now push the next button. The instrument is now going to ask you to load a flow cell into the system. First, you have to remove the old flow cell from your previous run, and then place in your new flow cell. Once you've completed this, you push the load button. A 
And once the flow cell has loaded itself into the system, you can push the next button. The system will now ask you to load the new buffer cartridge. This can be done by opening up the right-hand side compartment, removing the buffer cartridge from the previous run, and placing in the new buffer cartridge. Close the door, and you'll see that the RFID has populated underneath buffer, and we're going to push the next button. The system's now going to ask you to load the new reagent cartridge. Before you load the reagent cartridge in the system, you have to load your libraries into the load libraries here well. We're then going to open up the left-hand door, remove the old reagent tray from the previous run, and place in the new reagent tray. Close the door. And once we've done this, we're going to push the load button. And once the system loads the cartridge, you can push the next button. The system is now going to ask you which run you would like to set up. Now, we have many runs within the queue. I'm just going to select one of these uh, live demo runs and hit the next button. Once I've hit the next button, I'm going to review my run. If I need to edit, I'm going to push the edit button and make any changes that I need to make and then click the save, save button. Once the run is set up the way that I'd like it to be, I push the next button. The next seek is now going to go through a series of checks. It's going to take about five minutes. And now once the system goes through its series of checks, you're going to push the Start button. And that's about it. Once you hit that Start button, your run is going to stream to the cloud if you use BaseSpace in the cloud, or BaseSpace on-site if you choose not to use the cloud, or your own server network location if that's what you choose. We can monitor the run in real time using SAV or BaseSpace, and then that'll bring you on to the next portion of your experiment, the data analysis. Once the run is started, you can monitor your run in real time on base space. When the run is finished, you can go into the Apps tab to analyze your data. Since we looked at RNA sequencing data, I would click on the RNA Seq tab. The applications that are denoted with blue boxes are Illumina supported and developed applications. Third party applications are also available on base space. You simply click Launch. Select the project you'd like to analyze. Choose the reference genome. Choose your control libraries. Choose your comparison libraries. and click Continue. This will start your analysis. Once your analysis is started, it will show up in the Projects tab. When it is finished, the status will change from Running to Analyzed. To review your analysis, simply click on the analysis name and examine the output. Thanks for watching our video on the NextSeq 500 workflow. If you have any other questions, please contact your sales representative or go to our website 